so I want to ask you a little bit about your creative process, which um, when we first had a discussion, I feel like that was probably in a certain way then. It may have evolved into something different now, um, you know, especially now seeing the way that you've kind of changed and evolved from project to project that you've put out. Because of how much of the creative process is just so in here, are you ever finding yourself in a place where you have to sort of reach outside of yourself for inspiration or direction or perspective on, on what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. all the time. I listen, that's what listening to other stuff and creating what other musicians mm-hmm. is like when I make some shit with like vegan or James Blake or somebody like that. It's like, these are guys who also are like insular with like how they work and they like work from inside here and they just have all these sounds and things that they do that no one else can do. And that's just like, we all bring something to the table. It's like the Avengers. You know what I mean? We all got our superpower in our little city. And uh, we all just do like, we all just bring something different to the table. And that's, that's why like, I'm, I'm always reaching out side of myself for inspiration to answer your question. But like, um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it all gets regurgitated through me. So it's going to come out however. Um, well, you know, speaking of James Blake, you obviously have uh, uh, crossed over with him. And, um, you know, I, I enjoy his stuff quite a bit, too. Uh, you know, before I get into the question, I'm going to ask James Blake, a scale of one to ten is a nice boy. Would you say ten? Would you say a five? Would you say a one? He was a nine before, but now that he's a blonde boy, he's a real I, nice I boy. Agree. So I that's agree. a that's a big, a big 10, 10 right there. Um, it's a big 10. So when working with someone like James Blake, who, as you say, is, you know, very much up here kind of guy, um, being sort of of that stripe yourself, like what, what does almost like the creative process of two people who are not necessarily extroverted in that, in that way go, you know, is it a, a, a sort of a, uh, is is there sort of like a, a time or a point of kind of figuring out each other's kind of like, you know, creative direction or abilities to get things to meld or fuse or function? Yeah, it's kind of like. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of like figuring out how to exist around somebody and, you know, how to be private around, but in like, how to be private, but in public or something. It's like it's figuring out how to take whatever you are in private and make it work in the context of like extroversion or like next to somebody else or with somebody else looking, you know what I mean? So obviously it's not going to be the same as when you're alone. But like if you get that symmetry with somebody, you can like just work pretty much like 90 percent to like how you really can work, you know, Uh, because I say like when you're alone is when you come up with the, uh, the most I don't know. Interesting things, I guess. But that's just my opinion. But like, yeah, when you when you find somebody who you can work good with, it's like finding a good dance partner or or some fucking weird analogy like Mm -hmm. that. What you said there also reminded me of the fact that I believe that you stated publicly that the the new EP and and not that you're someone who overuses samples anyway, but you went completely sample free on this new project. Is that true? Yeah, but like I've been (laughs) it's it's. I didn't say it to like brag or something or like to even make a big deal. I was just stating what yeah, I Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, again. I, I, I make shit without saying I, I, I know. As, as, <laughs> as someone who listens to your <laughs> yeah. stuff, I, I know that you don't overdo it on the sample front. Um, any, anyway, to yeah, begin yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. But, get... um, you know, was, was there something uh, freeing or almost tempting to kind of limit yourself in that way to sort of generate a certain kind of sound or vibe or, or something when embarking on this one? Or, or did it kind of just turn out that way when you were done? No, actually, I wanted to see what I could make mm. quickly, like that fast and like start to finish. And like, I just took all that energy and put it into that. And then actually, you know, what's funny. It's actually longer. Like there's a the original version of it, like the the director's cut, I call it, has like like this one's for us, like six minutes longer. And then there's other shit. But I cut all that shit in the interest of just making it more accessible. Mm. So, like, that's what really changed the way I edited it. Because, like, they're all, like, all the songs are actually way fucking longer. Like, Last Dance is, like, eight minutes long or some shit. Fix Yourself is, is is yeah, Fix Yourself is, like, yeah, all of them are, like, ten minutes long, low-key. So, one day, I'm actually put that full one out. But this is, like, I edited it to the sweetest parts and just put that out to, as, like, just to see. I just wanted to see what, because that's what, like, 
I don't know. That's what pop artists do and shit like that. They take the best parts and they whittle it down to make it like a smooth ride. It's it's like slick. It's very slick. It, it's presented to be simple, but it's like very delicate how they do it. So I wanted to try to mimic that. Thank you very much for watching this interview clip over on TND Streams. To see the full interview, click on the video link next to my head or down below, or hit up the link to subscribe to the channel or see our Patreon page to support what we do and get some extra bonus monthly content in the process. Uh, Anthony Fantano, forever.